Today I'm going to show you how to use a one kilowatt EcoFlow Delta II as an EV gas can to charge your car in case of emergency. It's just something you can throw in the back. Solar panels are completely optional. These are two 200 watt panels wired in series. It's pulling about 350 watts or so. Uh, no clouds. And with, what's nice about these Delta II is that it's like the cheapest option you can level one charge an EV. It, you can actually hook up an extra battery to it. So you can have, this is a one kilowatt, you could hook up an extra battery that's one kilowatt. Or you can get like a bigger version so it's two kilowatts. So you could have three kilowatts that you could dump into an EV in case of emergency. Pretty handy. And th I believe these are one of the cheapest options. There is something you need to be aware of. I'll bring you closer and I will show you some extra, extra kit you need. So what you need is, this is the power cable that comes with it for AC charging. And this is the extra unit that you need. Basically the EV, EV charging needs a ground. So this USB kind of provides that to the unit. So specifically, you know, make sure the USB is on or it won't sense it. So USB is on. So again, just the left, you plug this in, just pick one of the outlets in the back, it doesn't matter which one, say that one, and the AC, make sure that is on as well. Okay, so AC is on. So this is, you need this unit. If not, this will not work. So this is just the level two charger that came with my leaf. And if you try this without this unit here, this will blink green. It may be different on your level one charger, but this needs to be steady. This is steady, that means it's good to go. So now we can charge, and it's also solar charging. I'll, I'll show you the input and output from the app on the EcoFlow. So now we're going to charge directly or hear the beeps. Okay, so successfully charging. You can see the usual blue blinking on the leaves. And this thing is working. So let me switch to my phone and I will show you what's going on. I'll leave this as the background. So here's the app connected to the Delta 2 showing the input from the solar 336 watts. Pretty decent. These are from being fairly aligned with the sun. I could have moved them just slightly but it's pretty close to what it is now as far as being like perfectly aligned. And this is the output. 1.39 kilowatts, pretty steady. The fan's working pretty hard to keep it cool. So let me turn the car on. And I'll show you Leaf Spy. Okay, we are connected. So it's pulling, it says 800 watts, 100 watts going to auxiliary since the car is on. Go back to the app for Delta, 1.39. There's always a little bit of loss. So it is bringing in about 3 and 30 watts, so it's only drawing about one kilowatt from the battery, and this would drain it pretty quickly. But if you need it, it's nice that it can charge your EV in the case of emergency. You can see the least spy is seeing the charging from the Delta 2. Now I do know that you can use Delta 2 Pros to get like level 2 charging, but I'm talking about the cheapest level 1 charging that you can get. So that's kind of how that's looking.
you know, at this rate of charge, it would drain the battery in about 30 minutes. Let me know if this is something that you would use as an EV gas can in case of emergency. One of your thoughts. See ya.